All right, so I'm going to show you how you can create this candy bar wrapper. Um, once you have the candy bar, the first thing you want to do is actually get some aluminum foil or aluminum paper and wrap that candy bar in aluminum foil or aluminum paper. And this is what I'm going to show you now is what you can cover that with uh, to make your own customized candy wrappers. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and click on File, New, and a new blank document. And we want to go ahead and go to Page Layout, and I want to make this landscape. I probably don't need to, but um, I just like working with this a little bit better for, for these particular labels. Then we want to go through and insert a shape, and we're going to insert a rectangle. We know this shape is selected because we have the squares around that. And we want to go over to here, and we want to put in a height of 6.7 and I'm sorry a height yeah of 6.7 and a width of 5. Now this fits a normal um, Hershey bar 1.55 ounces. Obviously there are hundreds of different candy bars out there so you might have to make modifications depending on the candy bar that you uh, decide you want to wrap or serve. Okay, so now that we have this, the first thing we want to do is click on format and do a shape fill of no fill because we just really want to use this um, candy wrapper as an outline. What I'm going to show you now is how you can get sort of this um, background. Okay, so let's go back here and let's go ahead and go to Google and let's type in rainbow striped vertical and click on images and here is the image we used. We're going to go ahead and save this as it's called Rainbow 2. Um, I already have it saved, but just so you can see how you can go through the process. And now what we want to do is ensure that this shape is not selected, like we don't have those squares around that. We want to click outside of there, and we want to do an insert in a picture, and we want to insert our Rainbow 2. Okay. Now if you try to move this around, you're not going to be able to. So what you're going to have to do is either click on this Layout Options and click on In Front of Text, or you can right click, click on wrap text in front of text. Now you can very easily move this image around. Okay. Now the way this candy bar wrapper is going to be laid out is it is obviously going to be going vertical across your candy bar. So what we want to do is in, um, select this image and go up to rotate image. And we want to rotate image right by 90 degrees. Okay. Now we can very easily drag this across. And we could um, see this is 4.99. We could have also just added in the 4.99. Then we want to right click and we want to click on copy and we want to paste. And we want to right click and click on paste. And we want to right click and click on paste. And as we can see here, this is um, too far down, so we're not going to be able to crop it. So let's go ahead and select this image, go up to Format, and go up to Crop. And we know this is cropped because we see that sort of black frame around that. And we want to wait till we see the T and then left click and drag that up. And now that image is cropped. Okay. We're obviously going to want to crop this a little bit more. So we want to once again click on Crop. And we want to go down here and move this up till we get sort of the perfect height. Now, how I moved that in that sort of really fine grained fashion is I used, um, once that image was selected, I used the arrow keys on my keyboard. All right, now finally, the last piece we want to do is select that original shape that we put in. We know it's the original shape because we can see that it's fully bordered, the, the borders around the entire shape. We want to right click and we want to say bring to front. Okay, this is now bringing that shape in front of all of the um, images we just put in there. And we want to click on Format and we want to do a shape outline of this gray and we want to make the weight of this two and a quarter. Okay. Now let's go through and show you how to create sort of this border and then we'll move into actually adding the frames. So the first thing we want to do is go to Insert, Shape, and we want to insert again another rectangle. And we want to go ahead and make this one inch high 
by 4.98. And the reason we want to do 4.98, not the full 5, is because we have this border that is about 2 points in width. So we want to uh, allow space to show that border. We don't cut off that border. Okay, now we want to move this centered so we see that green X in the middle. We now know this is centered. And then we want to go ahead and do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of that same outline. Okay, And from here we can right click, we can click on copy, and then we can go ahead and paste. And what we want to do here is click on format and make this 0.5. And we want to do a shape fill of yellow. And let's move this till that is centered. And we can see here that we have sort of um, a pretty prominent gray line there. I personally don't like that, so I clicked on format and I did shape effects and I did soften edges and I did one point. And on the um, screen here, you can't you can't really tell, but because I did that, it actually prints with a very 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 ultra thin thin border. So you could see it on the prints. Um, and it's it's not so prominent. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Okay, now let's go through and create um, sort of that frame. And what that is is actually a font. If you have not watched my videos on installing new fonts, please go through and do that. If you get confused on that section, now if you just missed what I did, I said insert text box and I said draw text box and I just inserted a text box onto this page. Okay. And then from here, once you've watched that video, what I want to do is I want to insert a symbol and the symbol that I'm pulling from or the fonts I'm pulling from are KG Flavor and Frame 4. And I can just go ahead and ensure that this particular um, frame is selected and click on Insert and click on Close. And now I have my frame. Okay, so from here I can go ahead and go to Home and I made this 120 in size and I want to have this text box and again if you click out this is we obviously don't want the text box around that so we want to select the text box click on format and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline and we want to make this white okay the other thing we want to do is we want to make this longer. We want to expand this. Um, and if we just move the text box, it's not going to work. So what we need to do is click on Format, and we want to click on Text Effects, and we want to click on Transform, and we want to click on Warp for Square. Now, as we move this text box around, we can see that we can actually make this um, frame bigger which again is actually a font. Okay. Now finally on here you can see we have sort of this shading. Okay. So how I did with the shading was I went ahead and I selected this text box and I clicked on format and I go to shape effects and I went to the preset. When you click on the preset it does actually put this border around it. So what you're going to want to do is click on format again go to shape effects and then click on no presets and it's going to actually get rid of that border but keep that shadow okay and then finally we can go through and we can insert another text box and we can draw a text box and once again we're going to want to insert a symbol and we, we're going to have this already up on top so you can just click on that. Once you've ins inserted a symbol it's going to come up in your sort of frequently used um, and once again we want to click on home. We want to change this to 120 and we want to do a format shape fill of no fill shape outline of no outline and we want to go to home and we want to make this pink okay and once again we want to click on format and we want to click on transform and warp okay and now we essentially just want to move this frame inside of this frame okay we go. 
There we go. And we could even do a shape outline of a nice gray. Okay. All right, now from here, we can simply just insert one more text box. And this is where we're gonna write our happy birthday, Emily. And we wanna go up to our home. And the first thing we wanna do is go to our line spacing options. And we wanna ensure this is set to zero and single. And then we want to go up, and the font we used for this is KB Reindeer Games. And we want to center this. And we want to make the font size 26. And we want to click on Format, do a shape fill of no fill, and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to go back home and make the font color white. And then from here, and actually let's go ahead and make these a little bit bigger because we want to add in the um, two because it is her second birthday we were celebrating. We can go ahead and move this back up. Okay. And from here we can once, oh, and actually let me make this white just a little bit bigger. Okay, and then from here, we can insert a text box, draw a text box. We want to do the number two, and we want to click on shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. We want to go to home, and the font I used for this is King Things Whizbang. King Things Whizbang, and the font size, oops, the font size is 60. Okay, and I want to go ahead and select this, and I want to make the color this blue, and I want to do an outline of black. And then from here, I can move this over. And again, I just clicked on that circle, and then you can actually rotate this. So I'm going to click on that circle above. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, I'm going to click outside of the text box, and I'm going to go ahead and click on paste. I'm going to move this over that way, and I'm going to move that right over there. And I'm going to change the color of this to yellow. And that is basically how you can create this candy bar wrapper. And again, you can obviously um, change the sizes of these. I think actually these were a little bit bigger. I did not do a very good job of noting the sizes of these um, frames. I apologize about that. But you can make these frames just a little bit bigger. And that's essentially how you can create this candy bar wrapper. Again, it, it prints out really, really nice, and um, this does fit a normal Hershey bar, 1.55 ounces. If you found this video useful, please like the video on YouTube. Um, also, feel free to watch any of my other videos. Uh, my video on working with fonts um, does go through in detail, downloading, installing, finding fonts, as well as working with frames and symbol type of fonts. Thanks so much, and again, please like my video if you found this useful.